Oh. Oh, well, I suppose this tennis racket's not really gonna cut it. So, plan A, let's get our hands on the real deal. Rock on! I believe this is where we can find a plan A, in a guitar making workshop. It's places like this where sweet sounding guitars are created by people like Dave. Dave, some of the guitars you've got here are pretty wild, but I'm guessing it's a full-on thing to actually make one. So where do you start? Well, first thing we start with is uh, a template to, um, with a shape that I'm happy with. Uh, then what I do is I transfer that to around about a one and a half mil, two mil piece of aluminium. Uh, draw around it. I need two, a top and a bottom. Uh, then I cut it sides and weld the sides which actually form the body. Well, our guitar's got a body now. Next, it needs a neck. So after the guitar has been fully welded and sanded and ground and polished, it goes off to the painters. Uh, once painted, it comes back, time to assemble. So we take the neck, which has two inserts fitted into the back. This fits into the body very similar to a wooden guitar and just sits on um, a small piece of aluminium. There are two holes in the back that we put two 8mm stainless steel bolts into to hold the neck very firmly to the body. Okay, so we've got something that's starting to look like a guitar, but how do we get something like this into something that's actually going to make us some music? Because, after all, how are we going to play a hit song when there's no strings attached? Okay, next we're going to assemble the guitar, and the first thing that we need to put in before we can assemble anything else are these two pickups. These act as little microphones that pick up the sound of the vibration of the strings as each one vibrates over these little screws. Then we have to fit on the tailpiece, which has the strings attached, and that sits over the top of a bridge, which holds the strings nice and tight. And then when all that's assembled, we end up with something that looks like this. Dave, you've shown us how to make one type of guitar, but judging from this workshop, not all guitars are the same. Uh, no, not only are they made from aluminium instead of wood, um, they are different in design, and as you can see here, these are totally radical. This is a, a guitar based on uh, a car from the 1950s, Good and as light. you can see, the lights work. <laughs> and then we have this one here, which is uh, pretty cool with a, a very cool flame design. And then the very latest guitar that I have made, and this is uh, my favourite, is the very first motorcycle guitar, and it is based on an Italian motorcycle. And if you push that little button there... this. Yeah. The lights work. <laughs> and if you turn it over, it's pretty cool as well on the back. Well, these guitars certainly look the part, but how do they sound? Expert guitarist Adrian White is going to test one out for us. Adrian, it sounds amazing. How does it yeah. feel? Well, I think when people look at these, they think they might just be art pieces, but they're highly playable, and as you can tell, they sound awesome. <laughs> can I have a go? Yeah, sure. Yes. Oh. Maybe I could give you some lessons. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should learn drums. <gasps> drums! Yeah. <laughs>